Okay, this will be a study tool for the postural drainage for uh, like PT, for example. So this is from the score builders resource, but if you draw a generic lung, this would symbolize the right and left lungs, and this would be the anterior aspects and the posterior aspects. We'll divide the lungs into their lobes, so we have the upper lobe. Make a little box here. And we have the middle lobe on the right. And then the lower lobe, right and left. We'll divide these up into their segments, so this is the apical segment, right and left lobes. This divides the anterior from the posterior upper lobes. This is the middle lobe on the right and the lingula on the left. Lingula is technically on the upper lobe of the left, but of course the upper lobe the left doesn't have a middle lobe, but the lingula is the equivalent because they have the same drainage position. This is part of the lower lobe, but this is the superior segment of the lower lobe. And then we'll have the anterior segment, the anterior basal segment of the lower lobe, the lateral basal segment of the lower lobe, and the posterior lateral, posterior basal segment of the lower lobe, right and left sides. All right, so the positions are, we'll put R for reclined, so the patient will be 30 to 40 degrees reclined, sort of sitting, the percussion will be superior to the clavicle, and then um, everything on the anterior side we're going to do supine, 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 with the exception that the, the middle lobe and the lingula will be a quarter turned away from supine. And then everything on the posterior aspect, we're going to do prone, 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 prone. And again, there's one exception. These guys are going to be done a quarter from prone. And then we'll do sideline for the lateral segment of the, of, the, of the basal, the lateral basal segment of the lower lobe. So R is reclined. 30 to 40 degrees. Hess is supine. P is prone. Equal side. Okay. Now, there's one exception here. On the left, there's an exception. On the left, you're going to actually elevate the head of the bed, elevate the head 45 degrees when you're doing the posterior left um, segment of the upper lobe. Head of the bed's up 45, so head, head of the bed. And then for the lingula and the middle lobe, we are going to do 12 inches, foot of the bed, elevation, and then um, these three here in green, the bed is going to be horizontal. Except for that left lobe exception, which so for the upper left lobe, head of the bed is elevated 45 degrees. And then the, all the basal segments, so the anterior, lateral, and posterior basal segments of the lower lobes, right and left, you're going to have all those with the foot of the bed elevated 18 inches. Foot. So that's a nice little 
summary of the positions that'll kind of help you uh, take those uh, board questions. Oh, and I should mention also that when you are when you're doing the positions that are quarter prone, quarter supine, and sideline, if you're trying to drain one side, you'll have them um, on this opposite side. So, for example, if you were trying to drain the right middle segment, you would have them a quarter from supine on their left side. And then the percussion points are above the clavicle. This is just inferior to the clavicle. This is, I think, around the medial borders of the scapula. Um, the kind of middle medial borders of the scapula. And then all these are just lower ribs on the, on the side of the lower ribs, front of the lower ribs, back of the lower ribs. And I think this is just sort of uh, like inferior angle, uh, around the inferior angle of the scapula for those. 